Today on the Slanted Lands, we're getting into the holiday spirit and headed out to take pictures of Christmas lights. Wait till the end of the video. Don't miss out on our giveaway. Hi, this is J.P. Morgan. Today on the Slanted Lands, we're going to show you the things you need to know to take pictures of Christmas lights. There's just two or three basic things you need to understand. We're going to share those with you so you'll be ready to go out and take pictures of Christmas lights this holiday season. When shooting Christmas lights, time of day is critical. Christmas lights are constant. They're not going to change. They have an exposure that won't change. But daylight is very bright, and as daylight drops, there's going to be a point where the daylight crosses the flat line of the Christmas lights. During that 10 or 15 minutes is when you get the most beautiful pictures of Christmas lights because you have just a little bit of ambient light on the house so the house isn't pitch black and you have a nice exposure on your Christmas lights. But again, you've got to watch your daylight as it goes down. It gets darker and darker and darker until it hits that time where it's exposed correctly to your tungsten lights or the Christmas lights on the house. Dusk is a perfect time to photograph Christmas lights because we want just a little bit of light left in the sky. When I say dusk, it's really late dusk, almost dark. You need to find an aperture and a shutter speed and then just simply wait until the ambient light matches your Christmas lights and then you shoot that short little window of time when they're matching. Sometimes it's only 10 or 15 minutes. Number three, get a tripod. What are you, crazy? You can't take pictures at night of Christmas lights without a tripod. I've seen people try, doesn't work. Use a tripod. Number four, don't use the on-camera flash. It's not gonna do much and it's just gonna be annoying. So turn that thing off. You're gonna do this entirely on manual. Camera settings. The camera settings are critical. First, white balance. White balance is very important. You can set it on tungsten or daylight. They both will look good and can be good in different situations. I usually set mine on daylight and then I just allow the Christmas lights to be a little bit warm. But here's the important tip, shoot raw. Because now, when you get back to your studio or your house or your computer, you can put that image on the computer and you can change the color balance to whatever you want it to be. Daylight, tungsten, or whatever you choose and it'll make it work. So, shoot on raw. But when I'm in the field, I usually shoot on daylight, then later on I can change that. ISO, you're gonna set your ISO at 620 or higher. I start at 620 ISO on the Mark III, that's a great place to start when it starts to get dark. Aperture and shutter speed. I set my aperture at 5.0 and my shutter speed at 1 8th of a second. This was a good exposure on the Christmas lights, but the ambient light was way too bright when I started out. I just kept shooting until the lights on the sky became more and more properly exposed. It's just a matter of waiting and watching and shooting until they come together. Eventually, you're going to lose all that nice light in the sky and your Christmas lights in your house are going to become a little too dark. Here's a couple of those shots after our prime time of shooting passed. And just not near as nice looking. I hope you have a great holiday season and take some great photographs. Our next lesson is how to combine strobes with great holiday bokeh. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. Ho, ho, ho! Happy Holidays from the Slanted Lands! We're giving away $5,000, no, more than $5,000 worth of equipment for the holidays. Make sure you go to The Slanted Lands and sign up. Over 50 people are going to win prizes. So go to theslantedlands.com and sign up. Make sure you win something from the Slanted Lands this holiday season. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Ho, ho, ho! All right, when you're shooting Christmas lights, it's important to go like this, because if you don't, then Kate can't make fun of me later when she's editing. All right, let's get going here.